The Australians made their way out to a welcome from the central Singsing group. The players quietly made their way to the team bus and were escorted out of the airport. From the airport, a media conference was held at the Stanley Hotel where coaches and captains from all four teams attended. This is Australian men's captain Delhi Cherry Evans' first time to Papua New Guinea. Cherry Evans says he's thrilled to be in the country to help spread the word of violence against women through rugby league. It'd be silly for me to look ahead of what's coming this weekend and that's a very good PNG side who performed well uh, earlier in the season in the game at the World Cup last year. So. Um, I'll take it one game at a time, and this weekend is very important for um, the people that are involved in the games in the coming weeks to prepare well, uh, to go out there and to play some good football and practice some good habits. And it's not going to come easy this weekend, so I'm looking forward to the challenge ahead. Men's coach Mel Meninga says though many members in the team are junior kangaroo players, they are sure to put up an impressive performance led by the experience of players like Ben Hunt, Tyson Frizzell, Cherry Evans, Aaron Woods and David Clemmer. Because they haven't played for a while, it's, it's an ideal situation to, to bring the caliber of you know, David Clemmer and Aaron Woods and Reed Campbell Killard and uh, Jordan McLean and Tyson Fizzell. So you know, they're very important uh, members of the, of the Kangaroo squad uh, to give them a uh, participate this week, which is, you know, um, they really enjoy that. Everyone loves the experience of the Park and getting. The Australian women's team have had great success since the 2017 Rugby League World Cup. Women's coach Brad Donald says it's always a joy to visit and play in Papua New Guinea. He says they've been preparing well and have brought a much younger side to this year's PM13. Come up here last year uh, and see some of the great work that people like Alan Tung and the, the people that work for the NRL do here in Papua New Guinea. It is fantastic. You know, uh, there's a bunch of programs running around and um, you know, great messages around inclusiveness, education and equality. I think it just shows that the game, the 80 minute game is, is much more than that. And what, what the preparation is and what you need to be doing at a level. Um, lots of the girls are extremely young and um, to be able to come over and play an international trial versus all kids, um, it, it's, it's, it's a great honour. You get to pull on that green and gold jersey and, and for me to be able to captain that team, um, it, yeah, it's an extreme honour. But the game has come a long way and, um, and there's a lot of hard work that's been put in behind the scenes. And Both teams will be visiting different schools and communities tomorrow in the nation's capital. Elijah Levette, National MTV Sports.